I'm Doug Cunnington. I'm from Niche Site Project. I'm going to tell you about how I track my keywords in Google. So it's really helpful and it saves a lot of time. I can tell you that uh, back in the day when I first got started working on uh, niche sites, I would actually look up my uh, sites manually. So I'd like go to Google, type in the search term, and um, it would kind of take forever. So I'd type in the search term, hit uh, like Command F, and then search for my site and then see where it was. So I would literally manually look up where I was ranking. But nowadays I use a tool called SERP Lab and that is serplab.co.uk. Um, I'm not even an affiliate. I don't know if they have an affiliate program, but um, it's generally inexpensive. And in fact, um, if you're just getting started, you can probably track all the keywords that you need to track for free. Now, um, you can pay a few bucks, and I'll talk about that in a second. Um, so I'll tell you right now, I pay about, uh, I think, like 10 or $11 a month, and I have the ability to track like 600 different keywords, which is way more than I need to track. So um, here's sort of like what the front of the site looks like. It's pretty easy to sign up. I'm not even going to go through that part, but I'm going to show you um, – a couple uh, things on the dashboard just so you can see what it looks like on the inside. So I'll head over there now to my dashboard and you can see uh, you know most of this stuff is blurred out but we'll take a look at a niche site project and I'll show you the few keywords that I actually track. Turns out I don't do any uh, like great deal of link building or guest posting for niche site project which I kind of need to start doing that but um, I'm tracking a few keywords and I don't rank particularly well for this uh, site, which is kind of funny. So um, just quickly, there's a, a few critical pieces of information here, very self-explanatory. I'm checking uh, Google and it's uh, the uh, auto country. So it's checking the US version for me and that's kind of all I care about. This section up here is for exporting data, viewing reports, and, and whatnot. One cool thing that you can do is export like all the data via CSV, and then that'll allow you to filter and take a look at you know more nuanced data. One thing I like to do with that is to look at you know a particular keyword that I am you know tracking, and then I'll make sure that the correct page uh, that I intend to rank for uh, that term is showing up. So sometimes Google will rank the wrong page and at that point I need to adjust things. Maybe I need to adjust the title of the page or some of the content on the page, etc. But if you take a look um, in the CSV, it allows you to check that really quickly. You'll see that below when we scroll down there. Um, you can pull reports for, you know, uh, from one day to 365 days. Um, you can refresh. The keywords, it does show you search volumes and um, you can add keywords um, in bulk here or you can put just a single one. So that's kind of the view that we have here. Um, at this point, you can see it gives you just sort of averages of the dashboard and you can see what's going on. So that's pretty helpful. You can see if things are trending in the right direction or not. Um, every now and then, you know, like I said, here's some of the keywords that I am tracking and um, you can see right uh, here. Uh, interesting, right? So a few days ago, I um, made some updates to a particular post about blog commenting and you can see it actually has moved up like nine positions. So it's moving up and down because I've changed the content. And um, just across the board here, you can sort of see um, like I'm not ranking as well <laughs> as as I could for many terms and then you know here are a few like uh, terms down here like no one actually searches for them and they happen to be just certain things that I uh, was interested to see you know where I actually ranked uh, for example the best product comparison table for WordPress no one actually searches for that apparently but um, I have a post called that that gets a little bit of traffic so there must be some long tails involved in it okay that said let's just take a quick peek at what happens when we click on a particular term it'll tell you 
the uh, SERP lab will tell you the top 10 results and it'll give you a log of where you ranked um, over the last uh, 10 days. So you can see I've been moving up and down and you know even just uh, a few weeks or sorry oh, about a week ago I was ranking like 11th. I made some changes in the last couple days and then I've actually moved around and moved down which is weird because this particular page blog commenting uh, I added content. I added like 600 words to it before I just had a video. So it's kind of interesting. Um, I actually expect it to move up over time, but you know, after you make some changes, different things happen. So we'll see how it goes. And as I mentioned, it does tell you, you know, which page is ranking for a particular term. So you can see, you know, where Google ranks uh, that stuff. And that uh, is sort of you know the basic information that it tells you. The other cool thing is you could actually look at you know trends over time. So what you can do, let's say I want to see how the blog commenting has tracked, I'll click the little chart icon here, uh, toggle chart. If I scroll down, then I could actually see like how this term has acted over time. So I'll get rid of the daily. Uh, average position here and I'll get rid of the SERP lab average so that it'll just tell me this one page so from back in the day looks like uh, about a year ago or uh, not quite a year ago I was ranking you know in the teens and then I slowly dropped down uh, for reasons I have no idea at one point I dropped down a lot <laughs> I have no idea what's going on and then I jumped back up here to 11th and then drop back down. I have no idea. Those probably correspond to some kind of uh, algorithm update, uh, but I'm not sure. So that's sort of um, you know interesting to see. And like I said, I I don't get a whole lot of organic traffic. Interestingly enough, and a lot of the traffic I get is through just referral traffic and guest posting, that sort of thing. So it does tell me I probably need to do some work on the organic side. Um, oh, the one other thing you could do, you could toggle the scale. Um, you know, depending on how your site's ranking, it can uh, change it to a, a log scale, which we've done here, and it doesn't really tell us as much. But if we go to the the linear view, then you know that's a little bit more helpful. It gives a little bit greater range. So. Um, the one other thing I'll add is, you know, you can add, they call them bots, right? So you could add more bots to your account and that'll allow you to track more keywords. And I think you'll, um, you'll be able to refresh uh, more quickly. I don't actually uh, check this out on a daily basis. I sign up for like an email report, which you could add here. So you could just, you know, click email report, add a new report, um, and then you can just um, uh, let's see. Yeah, you could write, you know, who it's going to be sent to, if it's a PDF, um, other data, and that sort of thing. You can send it on a weekly or monthly basis. And the reason, you know, this is helpful is if you have clients for some reason, you can actually have reports sent to your client so that you don't have to report to them in a manual way. You could just have it sent out. Um, additionally, it keeps you from, you know, hopping on and logging into the account, you could simply just um, you know have a report sent to you, which is what I do, and then I just make sure that you know none of my um, <laughs> none of my niche site terms have uh, gone down in any kind of great way overnight. Um, and that is about it. So turns out this is uh, from what I see, you know, one of the cheapest, best tools out there. Most of my friends use SerpLab.co.uk. And um, I recommend it. It's probably one of the most economical, uh, you know, SERP tracking tools out there. So uh, head over to Niche Site Project if you're not on the email list. And you can actually get like 15,000 keywords for free. And I give you lots of other stuff related to niche sites and SEO. So thanks for watching. And uh, I guess we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.